cut word users. The statement reads as follows, let G be a connected graph. A vertex V element of the vertex set of G is a cut vertex, V is a cut vertex if and only if there exist two vertices U and W element of the vertex set of G said that U and W not equal to this vertex V said that V is on every UV path of G. Okay, so let's go and prove this statement. Okay, so here, so so far assume that the graph G is connected. So if the G is not connected, then what you could do is you could repeat the argument that we that we are going to discuss for each connected component. Okay, so if the graph is not connected, then what you could do is otherwise just repeat the argument for each connected command. Okay, so here again we can see that the statement the statement is in if and only if form. So we have to prove both directions. So let's go go and prove the forward direction. So that says uh, if V is a cut vertex, then there exist two vertices U and W, element of the vertex set of G, where U and W not equal to V, such that V is on every UV path of G. Okay, so let's go and prove uh, that direction first. Okay, so so we assume uh, V be a cut vertex and using the assumption we will prove the other thing. Okay, so let V element of the vertex set of G be a cut Vertex. So our goal is to prove that okay, if V is a cut vertex, then there exist two vertices U and W. Okay, U and W not equal to V such that we will consider any path between these two vertices U and W, then that path it contains this vertex V in that graph. Okay, so that's our uh, goal here. Okay. So let's go and prove that. Okay, so since V is a cut vertex, so G y G minus V is disconnected by the definition of a cut vertex. Okay, so this graph G minus V, okay, it could have at least two connected components okay so the g minus v could have at least two connected components it could have more and let's say g1 and g2 okay g1 and g2 be two connected components okay anyway it has at least two connected components okay and let u and w B two vertices in different okay, in different components of okay in different components of G minus V. Okay, so we started by taking a cut vertex and we deleted that vertex okay so uh, since we say cut vertex then we have at least two connected components okay so let g1 and g2 be two connected components okay and let u and b be vertices in different connected components so assume that u belongs to this connected component and w okay, it belongs to this connected component 
and our vertex v will be somewhere here because of we deleted that from this thing. So this is g minus v. Okay, it could have many components. Okay. So let u and w be two vertices in different connect connected components uh, in g minus v. Okay, so since these two vertices u and okay u and w are in two different connected components okay there does not exist a path between this u and w okay because since they are in different connected components Okay, since you and we are in two different connected components, there does not okay, there do, does not exist any U W path in G minus. V. Okay, but we know that the graph G is connected okay so we started with a connected graph so let G be a connected graph so we started with a connected graph <coughs> so uh, that says in our original graph okay, there is a path between U and W okay and that says okay every path between U and W must, must go to must go through this V okay and that's the argument so let me write down what I said okay so but Or graph G is connected. Okay, so there exists a U V, okay, a U W path in G. Okay, so okay, here since U and W are in two connected components in G minus V so there is no path between uh, U and W but our original graph is connected so that says in our original graph the path must go through V ok it must be something like this ok so that says every path from U to W it must go through V and that's what uh, we are trying to prove ok so here we can find these two vertices U and W where U W not equal to V such that okay V is on every UV path of G. Okay. And similarly you can see that if there is more than one path from U to V, okay then uh, that path must pass through must pass through this V. Okay, something like this. Okay, so but G is connected, so there exists a UV path in G. And therefore all such path All such paths must go through the vertex V. Okay, so that's the proof for this direction. So let's go and prove the other direction. That says if there exist two vertices U and W where u w not equal to v okay set that v is on every uv path of g then v is a cut vertex okay so let's go into that direction okay so we assume that there exist two vertices u and v set that another vertex v is on every uv path of g Okay, and we prove that that vertex V is a cut vertex. Okay, so suppose that there exist two vertices U and W, element of 
the vertex set of G okay and u w not equal to v such that this vertex v it lies on every u w path in our graph g okay then we can see that if you remove this vertex p okay if you remove this vertex p okay, we can see that there won't be a path between this u and w okay then we can see that then removing okay means then there cannot exist any uv path in g minus v okay since we suppose something like that there exists these two vertices which is not equal to this at that v lies on every uv path in g okay so if you remove this v then there cannot exist any uv path in g minus v okay and that says this particular graph g minus v is disconnected so we started with a connected graph g and after removing this v and since we have this particular property the graph is disconnected and the number of connected component components is at least two okay and that says v is this v okay therefore v is a cut vertex by definition okay cut okay so that's it so we proved this direction also and that's the end of the proof okay so we proved a characterization of cut vertex and that says a vertex v is a cut vertex if and only if okay there exist two vertices u and w element of the vertex set of g such that u w not equal to v such that v is on every uv path okay okay so in the next video okay, we will discuss how many cut vertices can a connected graph have okay we will prove a theorem related to uh, that question